Hey guys, this is Chino with Rhythmatic TV, and I'm here with Richard James. Hey, <laughs> what's up? What's up, what's up? So, tonight it's a um, special night because it's probably one of the one of those nights. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, tonight is actually going to be one of those special nights because you have different projects happening, and it's basically like the whole dance community comes together. Can you tell us? some uh, history about Cybrite or just Cybrite in general. What's the mission with Cybrite and what do dancers accomplish when they come and perform at Cybrite? Well, I don't really know the history too much of Cybrite, but I do know that it's a, it's pretty much a showcase where all the dancers, they come together, work on different projects and, you know, we come and showcase pretty much, just, they kind of hold it every six months and we come and showcase our talents, what we do, and you know, just have fun on a stage. That's pretty much all it is. Oh, sounds interesting, love it. Now, um, we, as we interview people, we always wanna get the most out of you. We wanna know what you're up to, the latest, you know, from individual dancers, cause that's, we know, dancers have their own paths, their own ways of doing things, their own gigs. What projects have you been involved in? Uh, anything that's remarkable, anything that you're proud to go back home and tell your mom about? <laughs> Well, um, I would hope everything that I'm doing is, you know, I can tell my mom that I'm, you know. But um, right now I'm currently working um, with recording artist Crystal Waters. She's a house artist from the 1990s. But um, she's still pretty much touring every week, every weekend. We go to different shows, we do a lot of other things. I'm also um, on my way to China. Um, yes, China. <laughs> She's going to China. <laughs> no, um... I'm going to China with um, Rhythm City. They're actually having, they have a tour that's going on out there. Um, I'm not with the company, but I'm just one of the dancers in their production. And I'm really excited for it to happen. And I'm just waiting to see, you know, what comes next. And what I'm doing today is I'm dancing with um, Urban Dance Alliance, UDA. Um, just as one of the dancers, something new, a different style. I'm going to be in an African piece. It's going to be a new flow, a whole new everything. So you guys should just look out for it. All right, thank you, Richie. All right, let's just find another question. Huh. Um, as a dancer, right, we all have struggles. Yes. So, definitely. What have been some of the struggles that you've had to overcome and give yourself that confidence that you know you're gonna make it through as a dancer, as an individual? What are some obstacles that you have encountered that you just, what, yeah, hold on. What are some obstacles that you have encountered well, being a dancer, um, it's, it's a lot of pressure just working, going to school, just everyday lives, like trying to balance rehearsals, different gigs, all different things. But just at the end, you need to know that if you want to truly dance, that you really have to make time for what you put your, you know, what you dedicate yourself to. Um, some of the other obstacles, I think, like, um, just in general, is just knowing, like, your self-worth because a lot of dancers like you know we do a lot of things that are free or you know just a lot of things and those are one of the main obstacles you just got to know that you really want to do it for yourself and that you're not trying to like impress anyone else so richard james is actually the uh artistic director for dysfunctional souls can you tell me a little and more and dancer artistic <laughs> yeah an artistic director and That's dancer <laughs> for dysfunctional souls can you tell me a uh, little background on your uh, company? Well, my company, we've started in 2009. We're just gonna make two years now. August 29th is our anniversary. Um, well, our, my company, I just pretty much try to hold it as just a, um, a free space for all dancers to come together, different styles to, you know, show what they could do, show what it is. We even have singers, everything, like whatever you could do, that's what I try to promote. It's not like just dance, you know, I try to promote the arts in general. Um, also, like future products that we have coming up, we actually just did a show on Saturday at Lehman College just to give back to the community. But future projects we have coming up, we have um, we have Flash. A lot of these like competitions that are Flash, World of Dance, like a lot of these things we can prepare on ourselves to like do these things. And um, now we're actually not a competition team; we're turned into a showcase team. Long story, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I think like it's the right path to go and it allows a lot of other opportunities to come in.
All right, thank you so much, Richie, no for your time. Love it. Um, you know, Richie is, I've known him for a while, and he's ambitious, he's hungry, and he's always fighting for what he wants. All right? Thank you so much for the Matic TV. Once again, I'm here with Richie at Cybright 2011. Peace.